So, um, unfortunately, Lomach I mean, Lomachenko has decided to defend his country rather than fight for himself and his own legacy. Um, and I don't, I don't say unfortunately because he did a bad thing or anything like that. I say unfortunately because I really wanted to see Lomachenko versus Cambosis for the belts. But you know what, man? The guy, he's putting his, bro, th this is the thing, man. Lomachenko is putting his people before himself. And to me, that is one of the most respectable things in this world you can do. Putting your family and your, and your country and your people before yourself. Um, that is a true man of honor, as far as I'm concerned. Now, whether he's on the front line or whatever, it doesn't concern, it, that, that, that doesn't matter, people. And I'm going to tell you why. He's still over there helping those who need to be helped whether it's somebody who got wounded, whether it's some some poor guy's house that got blown up, he's giving him a, a helping hand, et cetera, so forth. It doesn't fucking matter, people. It, it, it's the fact that he's even doing that instead of, you know, because he could, he could, he had already signed the contract for the Cambosis fight, guys. So that was pretty, it was pretty much done. But he said, no, I'm not going to do that. My people need me. My family needs me. You know, um, and if I got to risk my life to help support and defend that, then that's what the hell I'm going to do. And to me, that's more admirable than anything you could do in in sports, okay? Uh, that, you know, I mean, and there's been a lot of admiral, ad, ad, admirable sportsmen and boxers over the years, and that just shows to goes to show you what kind of not not what kind of a fighter, but what kind of a man Lomachenko is. He's putting his family and his country and his honor and his everything on the line instead of going for himself. And I, I, I again, I couldn't. You know, you guys, I, I was always a big fan of Lomachenko, and to be honest with you. I didn't expect him to do this. I figured he was going to move, um, stay in his, his house in California. You know, I, I never would have expected the guy to, to go back to his country and help those who are in need. And that, to me, is more important and more respectable than just about anything you can do in sports, period. You're risking your career, your life, your livelihood and everything. It, it, I, I mean, and this is, you know, again, and this is the guy who had the golden ticket, who's got the golden ticket. He's one of the best pound for pound fighters of the last decade over here. And he said he put all that to the side to act like a fucking man. Okay. Now, again, it's unfortunate that we're not going to get to see Lomachenko Cambosis because I mean, Haney and, Haney and Campos is a good fight, but nah, I'll, I'll, I'll get in. I'll get into what I think that'll detail if if Haney actually accepts the fight. That is, <laughs> you know, two weeks ago that you know after T, after he beat Tia Fimo, he said, "I'll fight him on fucking Jupiter, nigga." Then uh, two weeks after that, he's going. Well, why do I have to travel to Australia? Why doesn't he have to come to... Because he has the titles. You want him, you got to go get him. Lomachenko signed the contract the day they gave it to him. And that just shows you the difference between a man, man like Devin Haney, and a man of honor like Lomachenko. One's a whiny little bitch and one puts his, his family and the needs of his people in front of his own personal gain. You understand? Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I hope Lomachenko comes back in one piece. I hope everything works out over there because I don't want to see nobody get killed on either side. I don't want to see any Russians or Ukrainians die. I hope the whole conflict ends peacefully. I hope nothing else happens. I hope that, you know, it, 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 it dissolves into dust and everything works out. But 
you know, just the fact that Lomachenko is willing to risk all that, the, you know, when he's got a chance to to become, well, he are, like I say, he's already one of the best pound for pounders of the last decade, as far as I'm concerned. But he's risking his legacy in in his late latter in the latter years of his career to defend what's important to him. It's important to us, the, the fan. You guys got to remember this. It's important to us, the fans, to see him fight. It's important to Lomachenko himself to make sure his people are taken care of. That's the difference, guys. And again, this is the, the, the I, I, you know, I was all, you guys know, I was always a big Loma fan even prior to this. And this just makes me respect him. You know, my respect level for. My respect level for Lomachenko was always high. Um, now that shit is is on on Mars. How, how the fuck? And if you're that low of a rotten dirt bag to disrespect that guy, you can fucking burn in hell. Because I would I, I would love to see. Because basically, if you're hating on Lomachenko, there's only two things I can crop it up to. Either you're just a hater. And I don't like to use that word, it's for children. But either you're just a hater or you have some racial agenda attached to it. That's the only two good reasons for, that's the only, actually there is no good reason. Let me rephrase that. There is no good reason for hating on Lomachenko, but those are the only two reasons there could be, which makes you a fucking dirtbag, period. Same goes for Uzik. Like I said, I'm not gonna tolerate any disrespect of those guys. Lama Uzik, Uzik, the Klitschko brothers, etc. While this whole conflict is going on, um, so I, I, like I say, that would that would have been one of the biggest fights of his career against Cambosis, and he and he, and he threw that up in the air to do what's important to to to, to humanity, guys. How the fuck is that not? That's a man of honor, people. That's not a, you know, some little rich boy from California that's never picked up a fucking shovel before, like Haney and Ryan Garcia, all right? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, again, uh, God bless the, the Ukraine. God bless Loma. God bless Uzik. God bless the Klitschko brothers. God bless their families. And God bless all the people of the Ukraine, man. My respect for those guys couldn't be any higher than it already is. It skyrocketed, rocketed, and landed on fucking Pluto. So that's my two cents on uh, what's going on with this whole Loma Haney Cambosa situation. If Haney actually signs the fight, which I think is questionable, I'll just say that. I don't think he really wants the fight. I think he's just talking a good game. Um, but. If they actually make the fight, because I get a lot again, a lot of these dudes are gonna be clickbaiting the shit out of you guys. Going breaking news, bro. Like, you hate you get both set. It's not set. It's not set. It's not set. Um, they gave send him a contract. Now whether Haney is willing to sign that contract and travel to the champion's home country, like Lomachenko's done his entire career, that's up to him. Is he gonna do it? We'll see. We will. We shall see. So, if it actually gets made, I, I'll talk about what I think with regards to Haney and Cambosis. Um, <laughs> that's if it gets made. Like I say, I already see all the fucking channels flying. Breaking news! Wow! 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 Breaking news! It's not set, guys. <coughs> only, th <coughs> only thing they did was send him a contract. It's all up to Haney now. He already ducked Lomachenko. He already ducked Diafimo. We're going to see if he's going to act like a man or act like a baby. Little baby Devin. Little baby Devin. Little rich boy baby Devin doesn't want to travel to another man's country and fight him. Oh, little baby Devin. Little baby Devin. I'll fight him on Jupiter two weeks later. Oh, why do I have to go to 
Australia. Why can't he come to me? And <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe, people. God bless you all. Salute.